Hi and welcome back to Travels with My Lamps. This is a little different, this is story time. Chapter four now, so get yourself a cup of coffee with some Baileys or a Baileys with a cup of coffee and pull yourself up tight under a binky and let's talk about the time that we worked for Alabama. Somehow after only several years of being in business, Band World gets the contract to provide an outdoor stage power, crew, and heavy equipment for a concert with Alabama. I had to assemble a team of every crew that had ever worked for us on a week-long gig building the biggest stage we'd ever seen. Optex was our provider, and it was the biggest stage they had ever built, as we had a few holes and corners where we just plain ran out of decks. This was long before the days of engineered stage drawings and weight calculations by computers. The band sent us light plots with point loads, we gave that to Optex, they over-engineered the shit out of it, and away we went down to Greenwood Racetrack in downtown Toronto to build a show. After two grueling days of slinging steel and pulling cable, we were ready for the arrival of the crew in the trucks. And I'll never forget my jaw dropping to the dirt when these matching buses and matching semis pulled into the compound all painted with the band's logo. It was the sweetest display of road chrome I'd ever seen. Out of the buses poured a distinguished collection of Southern gentlemen. I separated our crew by department. We all unloaded their production equipment and got to work building their rig. Now I was amazed, but what they had in those trucks, the very first Morpheus Pan Command system I had ever seen. They were a competitor to very light in the early days of automated lighting. I noticed a typo, I spelled very light wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Now, fun fact, uh, they were the first lighting manufacturer to use pins four and five on the XLR5 pin, and they were supposed to be talkback to give you real-time information to the light board. And the Morpheus rig actually worked. It would give you a status display. And they were also the first manufacturer to make a light that could do the perpetual pan it didn't have to stop and come back. They could just do pinwheels forever. Mighty impressive at the time. Now at this point, my leadership style could be best described as brusque. As I spent the day with the Alabama crew, I couldn't help notice how they directed my crew in their respective departments. Everything was, excuse me, sir, may I have a hand with this? Oh, pardon me, son. Let me give you a hand with that. I'll thank you very much for your assistance. And son, could you score us some weed? Now I watched their treatment of my crew and how much better and harder they worked and the light bulb went off. Again, pun intended. I must stop yelling from behind and leading from the front. Now just before the sold out concert, a long white limo pulled up and out popped the band's manager. You know Colonel Sanders? Pretty much that guy. Handshakes all around as the band got in their custom stage elevator and waited for the show to begin. As the backup band started playing, Alabama was raised up, the crowd went wild, and we were counting down the minutes to the loadout. And that's chapter four. Tune in next time for chapter five, which will be my first tour. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. For those of you playing along with the home game, that's three Rush t-shirts and one Maiden shirt.